Hey guys, Nina here. Check out this adorable blingy bang. Can you believe I made it with the awesome Pottery Cool Studio? It's so easy to make, and today I'm going to show you how. Now that's cool. Welcome back to Now That's Cool. I'm Nina, and this is the Pottery Cool Studio from Spin Master. It's a whole new way to create with clay, and I'm going to show you how to make this cool blingy bang. Make sure to put your hair up if you have long hair like me. Now let's get started. You need to start by putting the core and the sleeve onto the turntable. Just like this. And now take your clay disc and put it onto the sleeve. Work with the clay until it's smooth. And you want to make sure the clay stays nice and thick. Turn on the turntable just to slow. And give the clay 10 to 12 sprays of water. Here we go. Use your hands and some pressure to form the sides of the clay. Make sure to only work with the clay until it's smooth, and you want to make sure the clay stays nice and thick. Looks like I need some more water. A few sprays should do it. Also, make sure not to press too much on the top of the edges and only press with the heel of your hand. If your creation ends up being a little lumpy, like my guy, just turn off the machine and smooth it out with your fingers. All better. Can you believe that I ended up putting a hole in my clay? Good thing patching it up is super easy. Just take a little extra clay and press it onto the area that needs it. It's like a bandage for your blingy bang. Add a little water if it's not going on smoothly. Don't worry, it'll blend in. All right, that's looking awesome. And it's time to trim the excess clay with the knife tool. Just like this. Don't forget to store your extra clay so you can use it later. To remove your blingy bank from the turntable, take the turntable off the machine and onto a flat surface. Push down and it'll pop right up. Perfect! Now watch this. No blingy bank would be complete without a coin slot. Perfect! Now it's time to remove the core. Use your thumb like this and jiggle it out. Now remove the sleeve. And perfect! This blingy bank is cute but it needs some personality. I'm gonna use some excess clay and the tools to give him a cute little face and ears. Start by scoring both sides of the clay with the knife tool like this, and that'll join them together. Adorable! And now for the final piece. Use the foil bag from your clay or any piece of wax paper and a cup. Any cup will work. Use the cup to roll out some of the clay. The thicker, the better. And now attach it to the bottom of the bling bag. And now I'm going to cut off some of the excess clay. Remember to save your clay. And now we're going to grab the sculpting tool to attach the bottom to the blingy bank. And we're gonna use the tool instead of our fingers. That way the bottom attaches to the top of the bank smoothly. It helps you get rid of any seams in the clay. And there you have it. If you're like me and you hate waiting for your blingy bank to dry, there are ways to help it dry faster. It's all about letting as much air get to your project as possible. Try propping it up on something like this. Now that your blingy bank is dry and adorable, choose your favorite paint color and get painting. I painted mine green and pink. So cute. Check out everything I made with the Pottery Cool Studio. If you run into any problems, make sure to check out my tips and tricks video. Now that's cool.